Hi everyone, it's Friday the 8th of April and it's 5 to 8 in the evening. Now in this video I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you that I've acquired this week. Much of it I got from my little brother as he's uh, moving off to Ireland. In fact that's where he is right now. Um, he met his girlfriend here. Um, but she was studying um, to be a doctor, so she was um, at uh, the UEA, University of East Anglia, over in Norwich. Um, and I did find out the other day that she passed all her exams, so she is now officially a doctor. Still got a lot more to learn, um, but she originally came from Ireland, so she just came over here to study, so he decided to go back to Ireland with her. So he's been downsizing a lot of his stuff. That's why I bought all those computers um, a few months ago from him. So he could downsize. He's been trying to get rid of his games consoles. He's been trying to get rid of them for months. They've been on Facebook for months. Nobody's wanted them, so I've bought them. I haven't paid for them all, but they are here. Um, I just want to, I didn't see the point in just taking it from mums in dribs and drabs. I thought I might as well just load the car up especially with fuel costs at the minute. I just bring the whole lot over. We'll know where it is. You know, it's not like I'm going to run off or not pay my brother for him, so... You know, I wouldn't do that to him. So, they're all here. Um, there's a few items here that I didn't get from my brother. There's actually some Lego here that my stepdad got me today. He actually rescued it from a skip. Um, and a bicycle actually that I bought yesterday for £10 <laughs> so there we go I'll go through it all in a moment wish I had a bigger barn or something so I had more room <laughs> um, and a lapel mic that would be brilliant as well but I don't think this camera's got that function to plug one in oh, pardon me Mm, I've got a USB socket on here, that's about it. Don't know what the other socket's for though. I think I could connect this to like a bigger screen if I wanted to. Which might not be a bad idea. <laughs> I've got to move away from the camera like I've now got to do. I can't see the tiny little um, viewer on this. Right. Anyway, let's chit chat. Let's get the other light on. An eight-legged friend up in this far corner as well. I think, from the looks of it, it's another um, false widow. I seem to like my flat. That's all right up in that corner. Oh, see if I park my bum here or something. Well, I'm only just on camera, aren't I? It was right up in that far corner. The stupid thing is I actually took the vacuum cleaner all around that lounge window and curtain pole and whatnot to get rid of all the cobwebs and then that thing has appeared after that. The only thing I think of is that it was hiding in amongst the um, pleats and the curtain at the top there so I couldn't see it. Yeah, what's up there? It's out of the way. I don't care. Could be worse. Could be a funnel web like they have in Australia which apparently are being a problem at the minute. Because of the weather. Okay. So, I don't actually know what was in this box. I didn't go through it. Um, but there is the remains of at least a Speed Champion set. Which is what this box is. Um, apparently, there's like half of one of the cars. <laughs> Yeah, apparently this was um, the customer's son, sons who never played with them, so they just skipped it, the whole lot. Of them. Yeah, because it was that place um, my stepdad and brother were at this morning. Yeah, there's a whole bag full of the bits here. And Mm, look like it could be complete. There might be a few bits missing. I don't know. Who knows if anything had fallen out into the bottom of the skip. But I just thought, you know, 
they must have more money than sense to do something like this. They could have either sold it or at the very least donated it to charity, you know? Especially if they didn't want anything for it. But nope, we'll just toss it all and skip. We'll be that wasteful, we'll send it to landfill for no reason. I'm ranting now because being wasteful like that is um, a sore spot for me. I don't like being that wasteful. Um, that could be why I uh, probably have a bit of a hoarding problem because I don't like waste. I don't like getting rid of anything or throwing anything away if it still works or still has use, even if I haven't got a use for it. Um, but I've had to break that sort of habit, I suppose. As I have gotten rid of a, a number of um, computers. Again, like my brother, I've tried selling them, but I couldn't get rid of them. And I didn't want to keep storing them here. I wanted to downsize my um, desktop collection a little bit, so something had to give, unfortunately. But at least something like that can be recycled. In fact, I put a load of it at the end of the block with a few other metal items and just put a sign on it saying free scrap. And within a week it had gone, so... Right. We have here... An Xbox 360. As far as I know, everything here works. Apart from one console, because it never got tested. So, we've got a 360 there. That is my Toshiba laptop that I've got to have a look at. And I've got another one here that I've got to have a look at. Although I don't think it's going to matter too much now. <laughs> this Ace, apparently it's got an overheating problem. Um, it was one of my brother's friends who gave it to my brother to look at about three years ago. I got so bored of waiting, I actually went out and bought another laptop. <laughs> so, no rush to get this one done. Um, even if it's worth it, I'm not sure. It's quite a large laptop, actually. Oh, my. COA on this one. No COA on it, so I don't know what it was shipped with. It's Acer though. Yeah. We'll stack it up there out of the way. Um, now all the other Lego was in various boxes, like the Speed Champions ones. Um, but a lot of them have got soaking wet and destroyed, so what I did for easy transportation is basically throw it in here. And there was at least one full set there, minus the instructions, but all the bags hadn't been opened. All the plastic bags that Lego come in. This one's for a different set, but again, this one has not been opened. That is a sealed bag of Lego that they were just throwing out. There's another one, but I can't remember what set now. Um, that one has, it's a bit of rubbish though, I didn't realise it. It was um, a police set, still in sealed bags. I've already got that particular police set, but no harm in having a second one. It's got one of those electronic um, light doohickeys that um, Lego came out with a couple of years ago as a modern version of the old lights and sound. Me. Right, next up, Mega Drive. I've already got one of these. Um, so this one, once I've checked it all over and given it a clean up, it's got some muck from being stored on it and some dust and that switch needs a bit of a clean. It sticks. Um, it's only the headphone volume control, but still. Um, yeah, then I will be putting this one back up for sale. There's three controls with it and a whole bunch of games and really I just want the games and at least one of those controllers for my other one. Um, yeah, so... There is a socket on the back here labelled BT. I don't know if my one's got that. Oh no, EXT, sorry. Extension. I'm reading it upside down with the light reflecting straight off of it, so it looked like BT at first. So, got that. 
and the other one, this is the one that hasn't ever been tested. Now, it's a nice NES. There is a controller for it, but no power supply. Now, I might be able to find one up. Uh, what is it? It's uh, 9 volts, so I need to find... Bloody hell, really? 1985? I forgot how far these consoles uh, went back. RF cable jack. Now that's okay, I, that looks like I can borrow one from like the uh, Mega Drive because that looks identical. Um, but yeah, my brother bought this, you know, as un an untested machine quite a few years ago now, at least three years ago, and he just never found up a power supply to test it. That was always sitting on the um, back burner, if you like. So, no idea. And somewhere there is one game for that, but I haven't found it. I don't know if it's in this big box of stuff <laughs> over here or where it is. Um, it could still be in something over at Mum's, for all I know. Um, that'll turn up eventually. I'm not in any rush for it. All I want to know is if that's going to turn on an output to a TV. Right. Let's do this, actually. That's on wheels. So I've got a nice case here that I want to build up into something. That's what I got with the um, job lot of PCs I bought off my brother a few months ago. It's just been sitting at the shed. I have got another case in that shed that I bought from him, but it's an older, crappier one, so I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. This one's actually quite a nice case. Um, he's been trying to sell my old setup as well, but with no luck, so I might, if it doesn't sell, um, Anytime soon, I might actually have that off of him as well. Have a nice Intel build, or perhaps recase it into this one. He's got another case in his old bedroom. Oh, that is a lovely case. Much bigger than the one I've got up there. It's a lot wider this way. So you've got this one, which is what, you know, yay long. And then you got that one, which is like, I couldn't believe how long it was, actually. Now this is his Hot Wheels cars. Actually there's a few um, console bits in here because I took some weight out of that box. Yeah, so we've got hiding in here a Nintendo 64. Which again, as far as I know, they all work. He's never really used them though. Um, then we've got some cables and bits in here. What's that? That's a USB cable. That's not really interesting. Um, a very dirty Xbox 360 controller with a battery pack. Ew. And someone has left batteries in. Don't leave the batteries in. Can't get up because I have to show you this. That's why you don't leave batteries in anything. And being Duracell. They've got a good habit of doing it. Believe it or not, in my experience, I've found that the big brand names seem to be more prone to, do, or just as prone to doing this um, as the cheaper ones are. Are they actually stuck in that? Yeah, there's not too much damage on the contacts on the controller. I can clean those up. And you can get these on eBay. So I've got another two controllers that hasn't got the battery thing. So I need to order three of these at some point now. Unless I sell the 360 as is and uh, that's if a friend of mine doesn't want it. Yeah, there's only a little bit of rust on it. It looks, actually it does look like rust. It looks like this has got damp and just rusted. Duh, no, it doesn't look like these are... One side looks fine, the other side does not. The problem is, I'm not sure I've got anything I can get in there to clean. I'll see how much these little battery things are. I don't think they're that much if I remember rightly. I'll just take my Dremel or something to these two little springs. They're not too bad actually. In fact, just doing that cleaned them up a little bit. Whole controller needs it. That's if the controller even works. I don't know. Uh, 
couple of PS1 controllers. Just not a bad thing. Because there's four of them in that box. <laughs> and a bunch of other miscellaneous cables. Uh, 360 controller cable there. Uh, we've got a PS1 RF cable. I didn't really need that because I have got quite a few of those. We've got, we've got a Cloverleaf power cable. And we have got power supply for the 360. Which I think a friend of mine said he wouldn't mind the 360. We have got laptop power supply. What is this one for, as it say? HP. Uh, oh, I don't know what laptop that might be for. And it's not in here. <laughs> Xbox 360 cables actually got a sticker on it. That again looks like a PlayStation cable. Don't know if I've actually got the cable for this. No, that is definitely the incorrect cable. I have got the power brick for this. It's on top of that box. It's either on top of that box or one of these carrier bags I've got beside me, which are off camera. And there's another PlayStation cable. That one's actually got a gold-plated connector. This one hasn't. Ooh, hang on. That is actually a different connector. What's this one for? Because it is this one. No, it, does. it is actually a PS2, PS1 connector. Uh, which actually plugs into that. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but it does actually connect to that. Hang on, just out of curiosity. It does. I don't know if he's actually got any games for this. I don't think he has. And in a bag here, what have we got? It's a power cable from the looks of it. Yep, no kettle and of course just a box of Hot Wheels that I've got to go through um, anything I don't want or any duplicates are going to go in a box to um, be put on the car boot hopefully next week um, Mum did want to do one tomorrow but we need to get hold of a few more bits like um, a couple of folding chairs to sit on and whatnot and uh, myself and my stepdad are going to I think it's like a toy fair or something I can't remember We've been to it before, but it's been a few years because of, well, certain things that cropped up and ruined everything for the last couple of years. Um, I've actually got no money to spend at this event. I did have, but I forgot this time last year I made a subscription to Streamlabs. A yearly subscription, so that got taken out this morning. Which left me with, well, basically jack shit. <laughs> right, we've got an original Xbox. And these, I didn't realise these were actually that bloody heavy. Um, I'm hoping that somewhere here I've got the cable for this thing as well. What's power? Oh, power is just a snake eyes cable. Okay. There we go. Um, and I think in here, other than the four PS1s, it's just PS1 games and Xbox 360 games. Um, I've got a few down there, so I'm going to go through and see what I've got, what I haven't got. See what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And then see if a friend of mine wants anything. <laughs> Again, whatever's not wanted, I'll be, I don't know. Try it on a car boot. If it doesn't sell on a car boot, I'll just give it to charity. Some FIFA games here. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the FIFA games because I know for a fact I won't play them and I don't think a friend of mine is interested in such games either. Right, so I've got a bunch of uh, PlayStation 1 games here. Trying to stack. 
try and get rid of this stupid box. Green Man Rush. London Racer. A lot of these games I have got. Oh, I don't think I've got that G Police one though. I've got London Racer. I'm pretty certain I haven't got Rayman. What a spec ops here. Stealth Patrol, yeah, I've got some of them. I've actually got a number of spec. Worms Armageddon, that's um, only half a case. Gran Turismo. That's another Worms Armageddon in a different case. And Tomb Raider 3, and I'm pretty certain I've got both Tomb Raider um, 2 and 3 as well. You can strike. Rugrats, we've got here. U Star 2, whatever the fudge that is. Um, Resident Evil 6, that one's a definite keeper. Uh, no. On the Worms Armageddon disc. I'm not sure that's going to work, because that probably goes with that case. Alien Trilogy, and I'm pretty certain I've got a copy of this over there. We've got a PlayStation 1 demo here. What have we got? Toka Touring Car? Yeah, that was one of my favourite games back then. 007 Quantum of Solace and Gears of War 2. I think that is it. Oh, look. Nintendo 64 game. There is one. I've still not found one for the NES yet though. Chase the Express, I've got that. Driver 2, I've got that. Abe's Odd World. Odd World Abe's Exodus, I should say. FIFA 99. The Simpsons Wrestling. Oh, I don't have that one. It would be an interesting one for my collection, I think. Doom. Who wants to be a millionaire? And another Spec Ops. So that's what I've got PlayStation games wise. Console wise, I've got one. That one's got some um, UV damage, as you can probably tell from the colour it's gone. We've got two, and as far as I'm aware, at least one of these is chipped. Three, but I believe all four do work. And four. And one big annoying box. Oh, I've got quite a bit of stuff, haven't I? <laughs> I've got a 164 game, that's good, at least I can try that. Uh, the okay, so that's the controller for the NES. I think I've got the Mega Drive here. Oh, that's my mouse for the laptop. That's my laptop power supply. So I'll put that under there. And there's one official Mega Drive controller. And there's another one. I think that's the power supply for the Mega Drive. Uh, and there's like a little uh, off brand control pad for the Mega Drive, which is actually rather crap. So I think if I did sell the other one, I'm gonna, I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to include a, an official one. I'll just keep hold of that one as a as a spare. These are not. No. I know you can get six button um, Mega Drive controllers. But then in here it's just a bunch of games. Um, some here that I'll never ever play. Got Sonic. Um, got Premier Manager Football Gang. Mega Games 2. Uh, 
ones we got Pele, <laughs> EA Sports, Soccer, World Cup Italia, so we've got Sonic and Sonic 2, what's this one, ooh F1. I think I've just got random cables in the other bag. Let's just have a quick peek. Um, oh, no, I've got the um, N64 controller in here. That's here. So that's good. Um, that's power cord for the Xbox 360 thing. That's the power brick for the N64. Just plugs in the back. Xbox One controller. Xbox One. The original Xbox. Why did I have to confuse things and call it an Xbox One? When in theory it's not the first Xbox, so it should be called an Xbox One. This one's the first Xbox. That should be called the Xbox One. <laughs> Is it me or am I ranting a bit in this video? Alright, so I've got Snake Eyes cable there. Uh, don't know, that looks like it's a phone charger action. Um, some more kettle leads here. I don't know why I bought all these kettle leads back. Could do with them, um, or could have done with leaving a couple over at Mum's. Is this the Xbox one? I think this could be the um, Xbox AV cable. Okay. Maybe tomorrow when I get back from Mum's I can go through a lot of these. Do you plug into that? You do. Okay, so I've got that. I've got power. I don't have any games. So if I can find some change, I might have to go into uh, perhaps disc and that just across the way there and see if they've got an Xbox game just so I can test to make sure it works um, I wouldn't be able to afford a NES game Ooh. I'm surrounded by electronics <laughs> yeah that mountain bike I bought yesterday for um, £10 I've actually pumped the tyres up and they've held air um, it was actually just down the road, well I say just down the road, about half a mile, three quarters of a mile, something like that, I had to walk to go and get it. Well I rode down there and I walked back, um, but yeah according to the chap it just sat out in the garden when he um, stopped using it because of his knees, he was waiting on the knee up, so he just thought he'd get rid of it. So. I thought for uh, ten pounds, you know, make a nice little project. If I actually like how it rides, I'll probably um, take that one over to Mum's and use it over there. It's got a good set of tyres on it. I do like the black rims on it. So even if I didn't fix it up, you know, ten pound for a decent pair of rims in that one, I could have perhaps put in my um, rally instead. Um, I think the biggest letdown on that are the front forks. Even though they work fine, I have tried them. They're pretty well sun bleached. I mean, I don't know if you can see it from there, but this side, it's meant to be red and they are pretty much white. <laughs> Not that that really bothers me. Um, I mean, I could soon drop them out of the bike and mask them up and just give them a quick coat of red paint or something. Get the stickers off and clean them all down. So I could freshen them up if I wanted to, or I could go on eBay and try and find a cheap set to replace it with 
I mean, it's a silver frame, so most colours will go with it. It's not going to matter too much. And to be honest, a chrome on them hasn't rusted too much. Handlebars and handlebar stem are shit. Um, that's about it. Most cables, from what I can tell, do move. So what I will do is disconnect all four cables um, and just lubricate the cables. I'll put a bit of lube down the um, those outer tubing, outer cabling, whatever you want to call them. And perhaps um, if I need to, just run a bit of steel wool over the cables to clean them up. Uh, bottom bracket is fine on it. I haven't actually tried the gears full. I know the gears might actually work. I just I haven't tried them. I literally walked at home with two flat tyres against very strong northerly winds. I had to walk straight into that with two push bikes up a steep hill, which was a good quarter of a mile long, if not longer. No, actually, it was all uphill on the way back. So I just realised it was all downhill going that way. I literally walk to the end of the block here and go right. I just had to keep walking until I got to the right house number. Or riding. <laughs> and then walk back. But yeah, that wind was dreadful. Very strong, very cold, northerly wind. Right. Um, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't even know where to put all this. Well, at least two of these have actually got... Uh, memory cards, original grey PS1 ones as well. I've got a pile of them over there, plus two in my PS1 over there. Um, I've already said a friend of mine can have one of these, you know, with the games controller. I've actually got a bunch of spare controllers in the cupboard, just outside the front door, so I need to go into there and grab those as well. But yeah, I've got a bunch here. I really don't. That's the colour it's meant to be. That's the colour the top is. I mean, you could actually rescue that. You could um, take this top cover off and give it what they call a hydrogen peroxide bath, and that'll bring it back to its grey colour. Put the proper grey colour. Not the colour that looks like it's been in a smoker's house. It hasn't, because it doesn't smell of it. It doesn't smell of nicotine or anything like that, so it hasn't. It's literally it's been sat in the sun, and um, the UV light has caused it, because in some plastics, um, there's a chemical they put in. I, c I can never remember if it's bromine or bromide. It's one of those. Um, and apparently the UV light brings that chemical to the surface of the plastic and that's what causes the discoloration, that's what causes it in white plastic. Um, and that's basically what's just happened to that. But giving it a hydrogen peroxide bath basically bleaches it back but apparently that's only a temporary fix because if left in the light again it'll go back the same. Um, yeah, Lego is an absolute pain for that, especially white Lego bricks of any age. I've had brand new modern bricks being left out on display like I've got. Well, discolour after a couple of years or so. Sometimes I've had them discolour shorter than that, which really did piss me off. But, uh, I have got some hydrogen peroxide. I just haven't got around to uh, giving my Lego bricks the bath yet. Because oddly, you've got to sit it in um, sunlight or bright UV light. So you've got to put it in the exact thing that causes it in the first place. That one's a bit worrying because that one rattles. I remember the very first PS1 we had, it was, um, if I remember correctly, like a joint Christmas present one year for myself and my brother. My youngest brother wasn't born at that point. He wasn't born until 1998 and we got our 
PS1 in 1996, I think. Yeah, and a few games. And we played it with it so much, we actually broke the um, bit in the middle that holds your CD in place. So what we used to do, we used to have a bit of blue tack, we'd get it as the CD as central as possible with this blue tack, push it down, and sometimes that would work and sometimes that actually wouldn't work. <laughs> Your disc would fly off, but yeah. I don't know why we didn't get it fixed, because we could have probably taken that somewhere to get it fixed back then. Never mind. Yeah, back then that was my favourite console. My brother actually had a, a master system before that. But I never did complete Alex the Kid, the built-in game. I've never completed it. <clears throat> right. These are 9 volt power supplies, aren't they? No. It's actually a 10 volt. I bet that plug won't fit either. <laughs> um, I have got 9 volt adapters somewhere. <laughs> Whether they're going to fit that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to start. I've got stuff that needs to be put away everywhere now, haven't I? Uh, got an XLR mic cable, I don't really need that. An XLR cable for something. I made a circuit. <laughs> Bad joke. Oh. oh yeah, and I was quite happy as well because I found the power supply for this. Unfortunately, there is a line that goes down this screen somewhere here. Now I actually have had this apart, I had the circuit out, so I don't know if it's something I've nudged. The um, reason I had the circuit out was because I was giving, was about to give up finding that power supply and um, find my own and just solder it straight to the circuit board. Um, but I found it today, so I put it all together and that line is there, but I don't know if that line was already there. Um, I know everything is plugged in, but I will take this apart again and check it. Uh, but to be honest, as you know, a spare one to use in the kitchen when I'm working on computers or building a computer or whatever, you know, if I'm going to build this one up, be perfect for that. Um, I will take it apart and I'll reseat that cable just in case, but. I don't think it is. I think that is actually the screen itself. Right. I suppose I could if I really want to. I could connect some of these up to the TV now. Or well, this evening. I mean, I've got the PS1 set up over there. It'd be just a matter of uh, unplugging a cable. I wouldn't plug, unplug the power supply though. I'll just leave that one plugged there. But I could unplug the um, signal cable and use that one. Buttons actually feel alright on this one. The D pad feels alright. Actually, to be honest, for a cheap generic thing, I don't actually mind the feel of that D pad. It's been ages since I've used a controller like this. Or as we used to call them, control pad. That's what we used to control um, call these. We used to control these. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else used to call them that. Oh, this one actually has got Mega Drive control pad written on it. Yeah, I don't actually like the feel of this official one. How weird is that? You prefer the feel of this one?
it rattles, so I might just open it up to get rid of that grit out of there, otherwise it's going to tick me off, just keep hearing it rattle. I'll check it works first, though. Right. Uh, I will check and make sure all the controls are working as well. Right. I feel like I boxed myself in down here. <laughs> so I want to start testing things and I also want to uh, work on that bike as well. So I think if I could have pumped the tyres up where I picked it up from, I think I could have rode it home to be honest. It might have um, worked enough just for that. One of the um, V brakes on the rear of is a bit stiff, although I have loosened it up a little bit. Um, so only one V brake arm actually moves when I pull the brake. And they're a bit close to the rim, but I can't feel any rubbing. And it walked up here fine without any rubbing, so that proves the um, wheels are straight, which is good. Because I'd have felt that when I was walking it. Yeah, yeah, like I said, really the biggest letdown in the bloody forks where they've um, been sun bleached. I suppose I could spray white. I've got loads of spray paint, haven't I? I could pick any colour I want, really. <laughs> and I don't know why, but this brake lever is like sticking up in the air for some reason. And it won't budge, so here's nice and tight. I've got a stupid little bell on here as well. I do hate them bells. It's one of those um, cheap, nasty bells that... Uh, ooh, camera didn't like that. That come with a bike when you buy them brand new. As uh, UK law says, they can't sell a brand new bike without a bell on it, so they just stick a cheap, shitty thing on it. Um, same with reflectors, believe it or not. Um, a brand new bike has to be sold with the legally required reflectors. And a front one, I believe. Although, according to the law, the front reflector is not actually necessary. It's just the rear, the red rear one, and the um, amber pedal reflectors. Not that I've ever seen anybody get stopped for not having reflectors. Lights. I've seen cyclists get stopped for that, even I've been stopped for that one. Very rarely, because it is rare that I don't ride with lights. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I haven't done that in donkey's years, to be honest. Um... But yeah, it seems like the police are more concerned about lights than they are reflectors. Which uh, seems, it makes sense to me. I'd rather have lights than reflectors, but in UK law, even cars, vans and other vehicles, they all have to have red rear reflectors. Um, motorbikes and mopeds as well, they've got to have a red rear reflector. <clears throat> I suppose it doesn't matter what, I suppose you could actually bolt a bicycle reflector to the rear of your motorbike if you wanted to. It is technically a road legal rear reflector and that's what the law states, so... <clears throat> okay, so... Ooh, I haven't done too badly for this video, about 40 minutes-ish. Yeah, 40, 45 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. I want to try and keep my videos a bit short. I keep making them like an hour or so long of boring crap. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I am actually considering doing some videos, or at least another video, testing everything. That might be an interesting one. I'll have to move the bike out of the way. And I think I will do it in here because I can actually get to that TV quite easily. Um, that and I've not got another TV. That's easy to get to, so.
Excuse me. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, thanks a lot for watching. I will uh, talk to you all in the next one. Bye.